These 10 Asian guys needed help on their aura, swag, drip, or maybe we should just say looks. Anyways, the internet gave it to them. Well, guess what, Andrew? You're leaving out the word Riz. Oh! You're, you, know, you can't forget the Riz. Um, no, nah, these guys came to the internet. The internet responded. So let's just get into it. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. I know a lot of people out here, Andrew, wish they could do something as brave as these guys by posting their photos on the internet and getting unsolicited, sometimes harsh advice from the internet. But, you know, so props to these guys, first off. Right, and I think that's the first step is being able to take in feedback and opening yourself up to criticism because not everybody has this type of advice in their circle of friends you know what i mean right 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 so that's why videos like this are so useful by the way of course we blocked out the eyes guys to hide people's identity uh number one andrew this guy said i'm 21 years old but a lot of people think i'm 35 or even 40 mm. here are his photos i would say first off he looks like he's happy he looks friendly and healthy-ish, but that's about it, you know? Right, and obviously right, right. the internet, and it all depends on your goals, guys. If you are f extremely happy and fulfilled being considered a nice guy, being considered a harmless guy, being a non-threat, then totally fine. That is fine with you. You live your life. But that is probably where this guy stands. Right, right, right. He's basically saying, I'm not getting the matches that I want probably on the dating apps. Let's just get into the advice. Somebody said... 21? I thought you were 45. Someone said, nah, you look like a Fobby 30-year-old. It's all the soy milk and boba that you're drinking. How do you fix your hairline? Somebody said, stop smiling like that. The nice guy look is blasé. Somebody said, you look, you dress like a suburban 60-year-old dad that is already retired. <laughs> um, other people were saying, man, at this point, uh, just going with basic Uniqlo won't even work for him. He's got to go to J. Crew." Mm. Um, Andrew, immediately, what is your just thoughts on this? I, I think that, what well, I mean, it, it's a striking look, right? Yeah, I mean, no, I, I would just say this guy needs to lose the shirt, uh, change his clothes, definitely do some push-ups. We could tell in his uh, lack of muscle tone in his chest area well, particularly. Well, somebody said he has the pointy man boobs due to soy milk and boba. All right, I don't know if it's due to soy milk and boba, but whatever it's due to, lack of exercise is actually the point. Um, I would grow out my hair if I was him. Um, the hairline is something that you have to use medicine for or you get, you know, a surgery for that. Uh, but ultimately, grow out your hair and work out is my very first, because he has a great smile. He has a good smile. This guy has a very warm smile, which is not easy to achieve, but if you have a warm smile, you got to be fit. You know yeah. what I mean? You know what he, I would say, Andrew? He has rich tech founder aura, but he's probably, that doesn't necessarily, like that would go further in Asia than it would in the West, but it, it just overall needs an improvement. I'm going to go ahead and say J. Crew. Other people uh, recommended Tim DeSaint videos, but I'm just going to say J. Crew because J. Crew is kind of a old money, rich look. Yeah, and I'm going to say 50 push-ups a day to start. Move your way up to 100 push-ups a day. Right. Somebody recommended the uh, sauna. The reason I love the sauna, Andrew, it's a really easy way to burn 150 calories even without working out because okay. it's forcing your body to regulate temperature. Number two, Andrew, this guy said, I'm from the Bay Area. What's going on? I feel like I kind of, you know, am cool and I'm happy with my life, but I'm not getting the matches that I want. In all his photos, Andrew, he's wearing polo mm. with the horsey. I would say this, this wasn't a bad style for the Bay circa 25 years ago. Right. But in 2024, I just don't think it's getting the job done. Yeah, I mean, I think for his case, you know, he again also kind of has a smile, a good smile. He seems like a nice guy. I think this guy is a haircut away and also like changing his clothes. Like he got to just go to the mannequin for this one, you know, and he seems active. Um, lose that hat. That hat does not fit him. I'm not saying no hat fits him, but yeah, I mean... He kind of looks like he's dressed as an international student from 2010. Right. That's the vibe I'm getting. A little I'm bit getting. like TJ Maxx with all the polo. You know, like even polo with the horse, there's like different tiers. Of yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Polo, like this, this third photo with the jacket with the stripes is okay, I guess. But his hair, his hair. I mean, you know, listen, at the end of the day, listen, if you have floppy hair, you have to put some product in it to make yeah. it look a certain way. You have to. A lot of guys were saying that he should get jacked and get a beard because he kind of has this serious badass like motorcycle rider look that 
more badass look potential even than the first guy. Interesting. I think the first guy should lean into, I'm rich and I sold three companies and exited with millions of dollars. This guy should go more for the badass look. Um, one thing I noticed about working out, Andrew, is you kind of have to find the style of working out that fits your body type. A lot of skinny guys like calisthenics, heavier, compact, denser guys like myself, we would rather lift heavy weights, mm -hmm. less reps. That's just like a body type thing. Um, number three, Andrew. This guy said, I also feel like I got a nice smile, but I'm not doing what I want to do on the apps right now. And I got some masculine facial hair. What's going on? Mm. He, he doesn't get it because he has some testosterone, obviously, to create facial hair growth. Yeah, yeah. No, he got, he got some facial hair. I think it's not bad. I mean... Uh, some of his sides kind of compared to your sides, David. Right, you right, right. Show, turn, turn from side to side. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Somebody, You're not the hairiest guy, but I would say that this guy could probably benefit from doing the derma roller uh, treatment and increasing that beard. But he needs to shape it better. Yeah. People were saying that it looks like fly legs on the side of his head. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I just, I, upkeep is really important, guys. You can have the facial hair, but if you do not upkeep it and shape it up, it will look very dirty and whiskey-like, whiskers-like very quickly. Right, right, right. I think just immediately looking at this almost like, I don't even know what kind of sweater vest, like half mock zip thing, he, he would need to update the style. And for him, I would go for something a little bit more badass, more in the... Uh, all Saints Lane rather even than J. Crew. What do you mean? Like a dark denim jacket? Yeah, yeah, like some more uh like just not even J. Crew. I wouldn't even go with the J. Crew, but he, he's like doing the Banana Republic or maybe even like old navy thing right sure. now. Yeah, I would go for a more edgier aesthetic, more dark triad, as they say, Andrew. Right, right, right. Uh number four, Andrew. This guy says, I got three different styles. What should I do? And actually, this guy, you know. To, let's just keep it real. This guy is actually pretty good looking. Yeah, he's not. He's, he's in good shape. I would say that second photo is the most distinct, cohesive style. What do you, would you say? He looks like a Japanese rock star in that yeah, photo? Yeah, no. He seems like a uh, cool Japanese author or like artist. Yeah. Kind of like maybe he draws like anim mangas, maybe. But he's cool. You yeah. know, like he's an actor that plays a guy who draws mangas for a living. Mm. I would say that his style might just be a little bit too, like, Asia for the West. Like, uh, cat clothing, which is based off the, um, the construction fork, the forklifts, that's actually a brand in Asia. But people in America don't wear cat clothing as a uh, aesthetic. So yeah. I would say that there's going to be some mismatches here. Uh, I would say I would recommend him just to lose a little bit of weight in terms of body fat percentage and then get more VisVim style clothes. Mm. VisVim, by the way, is a very expensive Americana, Native American influenced Japanese brand. So I get it. Nobody wants to spend the money for VisVim, but you can get like VisVim inspired clothing. No, dude, with the man bun, I dude, with the, the samurai knot in the back, I think he would look really cool in like a, a, a t-shirt, like rolled up sleeves. Um, yeah, just get fit. I mean, I think I feel like this guy's not that far away from getting quite a few matches. He also looks uh, racially ambiguous. I don't know what race he is. Is Could he be, uh, Fili Ainu or something Filipino? Like yeah, whatever he is, like uh, or Tibetan um, or Indonesian, maybe. Anyways, he's got facial hair. He's got hair. He's kind of got a cool look. So I think he's actually in good shape. Moving on, number five, he said, this guy said, I have no style, but what should I do? Yeah, so this guy, uh, immediately, before we go into the comment section, I would say, like, even based on the way that he's holding the phone into the selfie, is, like, he probably games a lot so or plays the piano. Like, his fingers are very lean and quick, but they're kind of, like, they look weak and splendidly, like, you know, well, like... He's got the hunch, but he's, like, yeah. hunched over. Like, it's like not that. a strong... Like he, he has to work out. I think this guy... I think this guy, if he actually lifts, he's going to be in solid shape. Lifts and grows out his hair. Um, did you see other people came through with the Photoshops or mm. through the AI editors? Um, this first photo, he's looking like a Japanese rock star, more from the 1990s. That's more the Jay Chow style. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of that. Somebody said, please just pick the finance bro style. Uniqlo, Arism, wear essentials, Arterix, Zara Men, white sneakers, do some skincare. Mm. Uh, that, well, that's your basic stylish Asian guy at a major college starter kit. But right? really, really needs to do some push-ups and pull-ups and need some meat. Somebody said, looks like you on in, just copy him. Do you think that people should find 
the person in, in Asia that's a superstar that is most similar to them. Obviously, they're not necessarily going to look like that superstar guy, but look closest to them and copy it. Do you Are you a fan of that tactic? I think it is totally a good idea to bring in a picture of a celebrity for a hairstyle that you want. I think that's the best thing. Clothing-wise, it's very hard because a lot of guys don't know how to shop for themselves. So even if they see this guy with certain clothes, this superstar probably has a stylist. And then if they go shopping on their own, who's to say that they're going to buy stuff that fits? And as we know, with a lot of clothes, it's a lot about fit on your body. You know, so he, I would say in the time being, while he works out and builds muscle mass, and because he's already has a lean frame, that means... He could probably look ripped if he tried. I would just wear like standard solid white tees from Zara or H&M for now uh, that fit and just keep it very simple as he works out into his body and then he figures out what other clothes he wants from there. He's going to have to take protein for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to eat meat. Definitely. Uh, Point number six. This guy said, is my haircut trendy? And uh, a lot of people were saying that he actually does have a trendy haircut, but it looks like he cut the sides way too short. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you would say that that is a trendy haircut, right? Um, they said he looks like Sho Hirano, who is a, I believe, a pop star from Japan. And he also resembles the North Star Boys, That's which funny. I want to say are what? Like Filipino guys that have like some hybrid of K-pop style. Yeah, I would say this guy has some potential. Obviously, he has like the skinny face and uh, I could see him fitting into some social circles and getting some attention. Yeah, sure. I actually think that he might just need to take like a, I'm not saying like a mood boosters or whatever. I'm not saying you just got to get diagnosed for maybe some personality things or something like that. Like that could be really the thing because it's not his looks holding him back if he's having social issues. Number seven, this guy said, do I need a haircut? Or do I need an entire style makeover? Mm. Uh, Andrew, you were kind of questioning this guy's choices, right? Number seven. Like, because uh, he looks a little glum. He's got interesting artwork in the background, but he's got some... I wouldn't say those are the most flattering glasses. Yeah, I would definitely say... I mean, those glasses are super thick. And I think they do fit a certain style, but he kind of got the... Uh, scruffy nerd look and i don't think that's really suiting him well you know i think that if you were to work out lose some weight and then shave the beard i'd like to see what that looks like somebody did an ai rendering of what he would look like without facial hair which he kind of looks like joji so i guess the comment david that other people were saying was like oh he could look like that singer joji or he could look like a latino guy yeah, like this guy looks like a Latino dad of like three kids who's like a construction manager. Yeah. And I would say interesting. That those two guys look pretty different. To me because his mustache is not super dense and thick, maybe he might want to try losing it right now or keeping it at a uh five o'clock shadow as a scruff thing or yeah. kind of like shaping the mustache kind of like how you do with the thin with the thin bars right the abstract art in the background makes me think he should go more for joji maxing mm. i'd like to see what he looks like uh you got to go to a barber shop that at least costs 50 dollars. take care of the skin cut the carb sugar alcohol for like two weeks then reevaluate because i'm telling you you don't get that big without drinking alcohol i guarantee you he likes some brewskis mm. number eight andrew this guy said hey guys uh i got a mushroom cut right now what should i do and uh other people said literally just do anything than what you're doing right now <laughs> yeah uh this is a terrible haircut if this is actually how he wears it so definitely change that uh, go to a different barber or go to a barber that actually knows what they're doing and talk to them and consult with them. Would you think um, a $10 haircut in Chinatown would still be better than this? For sure, right? Yeah, this, I guess. This is, this is pretty bad. Um, I would say that, yeah. I mean, he at this point, you just got to go to a spot. If your relative or your dad is cutting your hair, do not have your dad cut your hair anymore. Listen, you already saved enough money from having your dad cut your hair. Number nine, this guy blocked out his face, Andrew. He says, I'm a sporty guy. He likes baseball, it looks like. Should I go with a millennial cut, which tends to be more of a fade and long on the top, or should I go with a Gen Z cut, which is more, uh, I guess, David Bowie style? Yeah, so usually the Gen Z cut is the one that you, where you have bangs and it falls over on your forehead, and then millennial would be like my style, which is, you know, up. Uh, and Asian Americans, Andrew, often wear their hair up 
more fob or more, uh, you know, Gen Z aura is wearing it down. More moody. Yep. I would say sporty guy, go for the short on sides, hair up. I think that that is more of a sport look. It's easier when you do sports instead of it's flopping around on your forehead. Nothing wrong with that, but I would say bangs and those type of haircuts they are usually harder to find a good barber for. They're a little bit more difficult haircuts to upkeep too. More expensive, right? Yep. More expensive to get those cuts. But yeah, like we said, like a spot like 12 Pelt, they're going to know both styles. They're going to know the millennial Lambda Fade style, and they're going to know the Gen Z Keshi, more Keshi style. Number 10, last but not least, Andrew, this guy said, should I get a textured fringe haircut? So I got to show everybody, this is a textured fringe. This is a not a cheap haircut to get. Mm. Yeah, it, it, it oftentimes re, uh, requires a perm sometimes, or at least a very experienced barber in which he would have to pay, even in really any city at this point, $40 or more. So if you're not ready to pay $40 or $50 for this haircut, then you're not ready for this haircut. Let right. me just tell you that. Right, and he's kind of got like the camp neon blue like swim t-shirt on with the bacon neck so it kind of indicates that he's pretty far away oh from, the biking neck I, I, i'm saying that he's pretty far away from like going to this expensive like uh gentleman's club like yeah. azn bar yeah i remember i tried to get a haircut where i brought in this old k-pop star well <laughs> this guy actually ended up getting canceled so I'm not gonna say his name but he had really nice hair and i brought in that picture to a Korean hair salon thinking that, oh yeah, Korean hair salon, this is a K-pop person. They're going to be able to do it. And they like kind of did it, but also maybe it's just my head. It's just not meant for it. Mm. And also to be honest, when you're a K-pop star, you got like hairstylists that are, that are professionals at styling your hair before you go out. Right, so no, they're working on your head for yeah. like 30 minutes to an hour. So prior. what I will say this that I realize about those elaborate hairstyles is that you can't only look at the superstars. Like, it gives you an idea, but to achieve that same look, it might just not be achievable for you. It really might not be. Your hair might not be thick enough. Your hairline, maybe no. The barber that, the salon or barber that you're going to just cannot do it, or you just don't have the time to style it. It's yeah, possible. I would agree. I think instead of looking at, like, league fits, which is, like, NBA players in the tunnel before the game, you're almost better off looking at, like, Mark Zuckerberg's most recent interview. Because Mark Zuckerberg, he increased his drip, but it was, like, still simple. It was still Uniqlo drip. Yeah. But it looked good. Yeah, guys, when in doubt, I think the first step is to go to a barber that you know knows what's cool. Not like an old ass person, like no offense, you know, but like, you know, someone who keeps up with the time, someone who's hip, someone who understands like other people like you. Like, you know, I know sometimes if you go to a barbershop, but they're not, they don't cut a lot of Asian guys and you ask them about this certain hairstyle, they might be able to do it sort of, but they're not really going to know what you're talking about. So go to a spot that you know can cut other Asian guys like you. Right. Ultimately, here's my takeaway, man. I think if people are, you know, it's so funny because there's so many trending internet terms like aura, riz, drip, that obviously millennials, uh, it's not like native to their generation, but it's like, it's just, I think it's difficult for these guys, if you're posting on Reddit because you don't have anybody in your circle, you've been a gamer, a coder your whole life, to try to make the jump to look like a uh, like a 12 pell success story i think that these are muscles that you have to build up over time and i think that that's the biggest takeaway i think that potentially getting the looks maxing like rolling for these guys that you know obviously they're going to the internet for help it could lead to more different interactions that like lead you down a road to develop more aura right but it's not just going to become instantaneous like that mm. so ultimately i think that all the advice is uh salient it's going to work but that's just going to get the ball rolling on a journey all right. Uh, everybody, let us know what you think about the advice down below. Uh, hopefully, oh. it was helpful to people. Last thing. Sometimes you grow up, you watch animes from Asia, okay? So you're thinking, man, I kind of look like this cool character I related to, like Luffy in, in the animes, like One Piece. And then you're not thinking, first of all, that's in Japan. Second of all, not even everybody in Japan dresses like that. That's like a niche community in Japan, but it's like larger than the West. And then you're trying to translate it to the town you were raised in and the fishbowls you inhabit. There's just no translation.
But I think sometimes people live in that fantasy world in their mind because they are what they consume. So anyway, guys, I would say for these guys, shift what you're consuming too. Don't just, you know, because you got to shift actually what you're ingesting in terms of uh, content consumption. Until next time, guys, agree, disagree. What would you add? Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.